What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Lear Latitude. And it's going to be a soft tri-folding tonneau cover and we're putting on a 2022 Ram 1500. There are two different types of soft tonneau covers. There's a the kind that roll all the way up to the front and then there's the kind that has the tri-fold and that's this kind and it's going to have that metal frame underneath. So I like that better. It has a little bit more structure than your standard soft tonneau. Plus those have the hook and loop along the sides. You have to pull out and kind of do that every time run your hands down both sides and make sure it's tight this one you just fold up or fold back out when you want to use it the vinyl stretch over top it's not the most secure way to make sure nobody gets into the bed of your truck the tailgate is still locked and it'll keep people out but you could still slash through this pretty easily so if security is the main thing you're thinking about i would look into some of the hard tunnel cover styles and then you can check those out on our website too the vinyl up top is going to be resistant to UV rays and you don't have to worry about the elements bothering too much. If it does rain on there, it might leak a little bit on the inside. It does have a weather seal here all around the bottom. That's more so to protect the truck bed from getting scratched up by the tonneau cover. Let's look at how it works. We're going to lower the tailgate and then underneath will be a latch. You just push these two together and that releases it on both sides. And then we just fold it up. And if you want to travel with it in this position, you can actually clip these in to keep it in place. With it folded up in this position, it doesn't take too much of the back window. You see it's still underneath the headrest, so not really impeding any vision. It does take up a quarter of your bed, so that is something to think about too. If you need all the bed space, you can actually take it off. It's not too bad. You just have the safety strap and the clamp you can undo by your hands. You don't need tools with it. So if you absolutely need your full bed, it's easy enough to take out. As far as the install goes, it's not too bad. It gives you the two tools you need to actually tighten up the brackets. Otherwise, everything else is done by hand. So you have the brackets down here that attach to the tonneau cover. The striker plate hits that and holds in place. And you have the ones up front as well. Those up front, you don't even need tools for. You just use your hands. Check out how I did it. The first step we're going to do is set the cover on the bed rails. Then we're going to undo the clips and continue folding it out. We're going to just try and size it right and make sure it lines up like it's supposed to. Go ahead and remove this foam from the tailgate as well. And just take a look at how it sits on the bed rails and adjust it as you see fit. What we're looking for is an even placement and make sure it sits square on the bed rails and tailgate. I think it looks good here. So what we're gonna do is fold the cover back up and start attaching it. As you fold up, just be careful not to move the cover from how you had it set up. Now we're gonna install our clamp. So we put it in the position that works the best. You got a few options here. The middle one looks like it's good for us. You push this square up in the square hole and then slide it over so that it can't come back out. And then you're gonna tighten up the hand knob to tighten the clamp to the side rail. Now make sure you do not over tighten it. Seems good there. Now we're going to attach our safety strap. So just going to push it up there and tighten the hand knob on that one as well. Now we're going to install our rear clamps. I folded out the tonneau cover. Now there's a few points of adjustment here. The first one we're going to do when we put this up in between the bed rails is we're going to tighten this knob here and that's going to help hold in the place. So that's what we're going to focus on right now. So make sure it's loose enough. These are loose enough for it to be open to actually fit. And we're gonna match it up with the latch here because this is the striker plate. So you wanna make sure it goes up and over. So make sure there's nothing under there. And now you see this rubber portion is on the top of the bed rail. It looks like it's gonna line up with that right there. And then I'll tighten down our hand knob at the bottom so it makes contact with the bottom of the rail, double in place, and that will get the rest of the tools to tighten it up. Again, don't over tighten it, but tighten it just enough to help it stay in place. Now it's on there a little bit tighter, and we'll check the latch and the striker plate. So you want to push down and have it go over there, and you want it to catch right there. So it's not going to be, this is too low, so I'm going to loosen this and move this up just a little bit. 
You see it's got teeth here on the side. So I'm gonna just adjust it up a little bit and then tighten it back down. Now that we've got the striker set and the tunnel closed, we're gonna shut the tailgate and hit the road. Overall, not too bad of an install. Didn't take that long to put that on there, which is good because that means it's not gonna take that long to take it back off if you do wanna use your full bed. Even though it does fold up, it still does take a quarter of the bed up. So if you need full access to put more stuff in there, you need to take it right back off or put it back on in the driveway. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.